welcome to another direct edition extra episode and we're joined by Chris Birch who amongst I mean, you know you're a bit of a, an all-round geezer because he's like um, basically Chris has got a clothing company and also writes role-playing games all right so tell us about the latest book that you've written uh, yeah, well, there's um, Star Blazer Adventures, which is based on these classic old comics from yeah. the uh, 80s. Sure. Uh, ran for 281 issues. Yep. 70 pages an issue. Yeah. It's the whole story in one go. Sure. So there's no waiting around to see what happens. Okay. And uh, everyone was a different story. There was a few recurring characters. Sure. And I, I read a whole load of issues when I was a kid and, um, yeah. and also loved you know, role-playing games, getting together with a bunch of mates and, you know, like exploring these mad stories. And uh, when I, I, I was looking at using the graphics from the comics for uh, my clothing company, yeah. and uh, I said to these guys that I know who print and produce role-playing games, I said, look, this is amazing art. And this is like proper Chris Foss style, yeah. old school sure. space opera sci-fi art. And, and a lot of it was like pre-2000 AD, but a lot of the early artists, okay, wow. even Grant Morrison, you know, wrote one of the stories. Wow, and, okay, uh, so we're involved. talking some yeah. of his really earliest work. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, and some great names. And um, uh, Al Katana from, uh, you know, South America, some you know, yeah. real genius talent there. And I just said, look, we should, you should do a game based on this. And they said, great, why don't you do it? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and in a fit of madness, I went, yeah, okay, yeah, that'll be great, yeah, it'll be easy. And, uh, and three years later, yeah. I was like sweating away and, and uh, Go no! I want it to be over, but it was, I got it done finally. But so it's a role-playing game based on a bunch of comics. How did you actually adapt it for a role-playing game, and how does the so, gameplay work? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's like basically it goes back. It's like the old-school Dungeons and Dragons type yeah. game. You know, a bunch of mates sit round a table. You roll some dice. You've all got a character, mm -hmm. um, but it's a very simple rule system. I wanted it to be anyone can pick this book up and uh, get their head round it, and it basically includes a lot of the stories from the comics, a lot of the artwork for, to inspire you. I really see it's like a toolkit with all this inspirational art to kind of unlock your imagination. Because when I read the comics, they were like these mad stories about gigantic spaceships and massive war fleets and ancient mysteries. And it was just like, you know, it's one of those crazy things that makes your mind just go mad and you, you just sort of start, you know, anything becomes yeah. possible. It really like, it was great for me, you know, you know, trying to be creative because it really helped me learn to actually kind of widen my horizon and imagination to, you know, think of anything, especially, you know, designing T-shirts as well. Sure. So oh, yeah. If you could just tell the audience quickly uh, and give us a little scenario. So, for example, you could be a warrior. You yeah. could be a captain of a spaceship. Exactly. You're under attack. Yeah. You then make a decision to... Yeah, I mean, try I, and survive you would, the attack. Exactly, you you could do anything you want. I mean, if you're a captain of a spaceship, you go, well, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try and evade the attackers, or we're gonna like, you know, ram them and try and board them, and you can do anything you want. And that is the great thing. It's not like a video game where, oh well, you know, you can only do certain things in the game. I mean, sure. video. I love video games. You know, my whole clothing is based on video yeah. games, and they are an amazing, really cool thing. But it's a different experience to sitting around a table with a bunch of people, and you can do anything. So you can go anywhere in the galaxy to see any kind of crazy sites. You can explore ancient space stations that are billions of years old, you know, and you, you, your, what you can do the, is just limited by what you can imagine. You're almost battling then against each other's imagination, so... It's, you're, not, you're actually working together as a group, so you'd be helping right. each other as a team of people. You know, it's a bit like Star Wars, you've got Luke Skywalker, yeah. Han Solo, Princess... Yeah. They're all like helping each other, so imagine you could be those heroes fighting the evil empire and you go on you know you get given missions and you'd get you'd work out how to fulfill it. how are we going to get to the death star yeah, and steal yeah. the secret plans how are we going to get off tatooine so it's and the, the the book just gives you all the kind of ideas about now do you want to have a, a game where there's a lot of superpowers do you want yeah. to have a game where it's all really gritty like marines and aliens do you right, want to have a right. game where you're actually running a whole empire like you could be darth vader but like a good darth vader leading the the marines <laughs> against the darth yeah vader. or a bad one right, yeah you right. could be a bad one doesn't matter you know it's that's again it's your imagination the whole point is the players don't need to know the rules they can just literally you know it's the the guy who's the games master kind of 
leads everyone through the game. He's kind of like the script writer and producer of the movie, kind of gives you the setting and right. the storyline. It's up to you to then, as players, um, you know, figure out your way through that adventure. You know, what are you going to do to save the galaxy? So. It characters have aspects that dis describe what they are. In, and um, you know, if I can have a bad aspect like I'm clumsy, right. but a, a good aspect might be, you know, I'm never going to let my um, friend um, uh, Estrade get into trouble. Right. So um, if you're Estrade and you're falling from, you know, you've fallen off this cliff, my aspect, I'm never going to let Estrade get into trouble. I can want to use a fate point. We have these sort of fate points right, as currency right. in the game to um, to do something to help it rescue him. So right. I can go. Well, I just happen to have this little um, anti gravity parachute, and, and uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. And <laughs> you know, because thing. I've got, I only have a certain number of points, so I can't do it all the time. Right. You so can only get out of trouble so many times. But then I might have an, a, another a bad aspect that I'm clumsy. Right. So when I'm running down the corridor trying to escape the robots, yeah. I can go. Well, you know what? I'm kind of clumsy. So and I, I could do with some more fate points because I know it's going to get. There's going to be some real crazy stuff happening next. Right, and right. So I can play up and go, okay, I'm going to fall over yeah. trying to escape from the robots, yeah. which is going to get me into trouble, right. but it earns me a fate point to then spend doing good stuff later on. Right, okay. And the fate points let you kind of re-roll the dice, let you go, oh, I've just got something that is useful. Yeah. And uh, as the game's martial go, yeah, you know, you're a Star Patrol officer, you'd probably have a little anti-grav so belt. So you know. as the game's master, I mean, I, I will admit this to the public. I did play Dungeons and Dragons as a kid. Um, no shame in it. But yeah. my understanding of this game is that it's got. You say that. Yeah, I do say that. It's got less of the rules, less yeah. of the the formal structure around the That's game. That's right. Yeah, because I I, wrote, I didn't want it to be this sort of like kind of nerdy niche thing that yeah. only like ten people will want to buy. I wanted it, right. I wanted a lot of people a lot of people to buy the yeah. books. It's written in a very friendly way. It describes how to find other people. When I yeah. when I was like first writing it and I was testing it out, I just invited a load of mates over who'd never played anything like this. Said, look, come over, we're going to play this mad sci-fi storytelling game. I'm going to cook dinner, we're going to have some wine. Yeah. Notice it was like, it was a little party night in bit of bribery. with the friends. Yeah, a bit, a bit of, of bribery in everywhere else. People love dinner. People yeah. love free dinner. You can, I mean, you can play with one, but you know, to be honest, it's like four or five people is a good okay. number. Okay. You know, two, like you get to eight people, you know, you, it starts to get a bit difficult to make sure everyone keeps entertained. Yeah. So, you know, we were playing with sort of four to six people okay. on average and, How you know. How long does a typical game take? We, I mean, we'd play, it's like a TV show. Sure. So it's like, okay, this week you're going to play like an episode. Okay. So, uh -huh. and then, you know, we'd get together, have a bit of food, and then we'd play for like two or three hours. Yeah. And then we'd kind of bring it to a, an end, a bit like a TV show. It would always sure. end on a hook. Yeah. And then we'd go, right, you know, when can everyone play next? Okay, well, maybe next Tuesday or, sure. you know, a couple of weeks. And, uh, yeah. And then we get to like a regular like, like poker game. Yeah, it? basically, it's, it's basically like, like getting together to play poker. Do you know what I mean? But, it, using but your you're having an adventure. It's like reading a comic book and having yeah. all these crazy things, yeah. but actually being in the comic book. That's the cool thing. So the book is called what? Star Blazer Adventures. And we can find it where? At cubicle seven, yep. number seven. Dot co dot uk. Expensive to kind of get involved? It's, I mean, the, the, the basic book has everything you need. You actually shouldn't need to buy any more books off us, although we are making more books, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, just adding to the, the cool stuff that's there. But the basic book is, I mean, on PDF, you can get it for um, uh, $30 yeah. and, uh, um, in America, and then I think it's like, so it's about 20 quid here. Yeah. And the hardback is generally wherever you go, it's like 30, 35 pounds. Okay, so cool. It's, I mean, it's great value. It's 636 pages. So there's, there's a, a lot of adventures. There's in there. a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff you don't need, but it's just like, do you want to run an empire? Yeah, here's a chapter on that. Do you want to build a spaceship? Here's a chapter on building a spaceship. Do you want to choose from a load of monsters and robots to to attack the you know the players with? Then here's a whole chapter on that. So. The, the rules actually, the actual basic rules you need to learn are only about 10 pages yeah, sure. out of that whole 600. And then we've all got all these listings of the comics and some of the stories sure. and how to write an adventure and how to create an, a night, how to find some friends if you don't, you know, how to find people to play. Yeah, hopefully you've got some friends. But, uh, you know, it's like just recommending how to, how to make it interesting to have a night because, you know, everyone loves getting together and having a good time. So. Wicked. Yeah. Well, listen, Chris, thanks so much for coming in and telling us all about it, right? Good luck with right. it. We hope that loads of people kind of get into it and, you yeah, know what I mean, cool. there'll be, like, more books and more um, more dinner parties Absolutely, based yeah. on that. You know what I mean? There's maybe we'll be... get an invite one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe, <laughs> maybe. I've got ideas oh. in my head already. I know yeah. who I want to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Great.
Okay. Yeah, this has been another direct edition extra um, brought to you courtesy of us and Chris. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers, thanks a lot. Thank you.